made a mistake. Uh, there's no other way. I mean, there's no other way to say it. I'm absolutely sorry. I used an inappropriate and insensitive reference to the Holocaust, for which, frankly, there is no, uh, there is no, no, no comparison. And for that, I, I apologize. A lot of apologizing going on. Sean Spicer apologizing to anyone who will listen, really. Yeah, anybody that's going to hear it, he is saying sorry to begging the questions. How many times can you say you're sorry? <laughs> well, there are a couple people that come to mind, like the CEO of Pepsi and United, perhaps. Yeah, they know a little bit about this. This has been a nasty 10 days for folks in the limelight getting their messaging so wrong it's actually painful. So who has it the worst right now? Is it United CEO Munoz, Sean Spicer? or the now vacationing Fox News anchor, Bill O'Reilly. Let's start with United, because United has sat in the dirty diaper of lame brand communications for days. Weighing in, crisis communications coach, Roshini Rajkumar. When you need to go into like three written apologies, the GMA interview, you know things are kind of getting bad. Let's just summarize the bad. United statement number one said, not sorry. Statement number two said, not really going to say sorry, but might suggest it. Statement number three, fine, we're sorry. Interview today, OMG, I'm so, so sorry. Roshini's advice, before statement one, say this. How I would have coached him if I were his coach would be to start with, this is horrible. I can't believe this happened on one of my planes. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it. Give me a couple hours, give me a day, I will report back. That would have been a perfect message. The point, there is video of a person being dragged like trash on a United plane by security. It's inhumane, so United should have responded, not with lawyered up statements, see statements one and two, but with a human CEO saying sorry on day one. Speaking of sorry. I'm absolutely sorry. Oh man, this is a tough one. I just don't know why you would evoke anything connected to Hitler or the Holocaust. Spicer not only spoke of the unspeakable, he did it with falsehood. Oh, and he's on the apology tour of his career lifetime. So Spicer is basically doing what United probably should have done on day one. So, Spicer making a good move here? So in his case, I mean, I think he needs to just take a breather and not do a lot of interviews for the next couple days and just let some of the storm die down. And speaking of taking a breather... I grab some vacation because it's spring and Easter time. Last fall I booked a trip that should be terrific. I'll have a full report when I return. Bill O'Reilly claims he's taking a time out. Little vacation, little R&R. &R. At the exact same time, 60 advertisers have left his show because of the sexual harassment claims against him. What a coincidence. <laughs> That's not a coincidence. Oh. Turns out the old vacay play when you are in a crisis is as old a PR trick as they come. Disappear for a little bit and hope your scandal does too. But it's not a move our expert thinks someone as media savvy as O'Reilly should make. Bill O'Reilly knows better. He is a media professional, he's an author, he's done countless keynotes and interviews. He should be on top of his game when it comes to PR. When you, If you can dish it out when others are in crisis, you better be able to stand up and take the heat. Going on vacation is so dumb. So who's had the worst week? Well, that's up to you to decide. I don't know. That's a <laughs> tough decision. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to eliminate Sean Spicer from that just because he apologized so profusely yes. right from the beginning yes. uh, for saying something that was just off the cuff and, and obviously not uh, an intelligent statement. The other two, however, not, not so great. Not so great. Just not handled great. So I put the question on my Twitter page to see what people thought. And they thought, yeah. opposite of you, they thought Sean Spicer definitely had the worst week and handled really? it the worst. But maybe not understanding quite the question yeah, because yeah. we were talking about handling something. Um, and that was the question I, I had for Rashidi. Is too many sorries too sorry? And I think that's why she's saying, okay, you've said you're sorry. We've heard you. And stop saying you're sorry. Well, yeah, he said it so much now, I actually start to feel bad for him. You know what I mean? So I think uh, maybe it works. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. I mean, United could have taken a sorry from his book. Just one, <laughs> yeah, of, the, right. one of the spicy sorries and used one of the sorries in the beginning. O'Reilly's just going on vacation, so there you go. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> well, a new leader.